Beirut, there was a, a explosion that occurred, and they still don't know exactly what happened. Yeah, there, it was like what, still, some chemicals, something like that. Yeah, I've heard that it's like a, a firework factory, oh, or yeah, they just yeah. like left chemicals there. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know, but it definitely feels like something happened on purpose. Like, it, I, I don't know, it could be, could be just like a fuck up, right? But I don't know. Yeah, because uh, my mom, she said that the, those chemicals were there for six years. Like, she saw in the news that Damn. it's been there, and nothing has happened for six years, and now something happens. And it's as big as, like, a nuclear bomb, like the radius yeah, of... Yeah, like, like a mob, like a, a Moab. Yeah, a Moab. Yeah. And it, it shattered windows uh, 15 mm. miles out, so yeah. that's how... People Fucking said you could hear like 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 the glass shatter from a hundred miles away or some shit. <laughs> That's crazy. That's wild. No, what's what's most wild about like all that has happened like is the the amount of camera angles that were like filmed. I know, yeah, because like, I think there was smoke first. Like people saw some smoke. Yeah, and then like seconds later, boom, yeah, and that sound wave, like basically death calling your name at that point, right? Yeah, because oh, dude. It, and there's videos of people filming like the dead bodies, like showing like mm-hmm. all the people who died, unfortunately, to the to honestly, I think it, I think it was someone did that on purpose. I, I genuinely believe that. Yeah, my, it's, I'll fuck uh, up like that, like that's that's pretty big, man. I don't know <laughs> how you're gonna because uh, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah, Lebanon. I I haven't really heard about th- them having tensions with other countries, but they might have. You know, yeah. like with that place maybe, was a beautiful place. It didn't look like yeah. anything was like any economic troubles or like, mm-hmm. you know. well, that's personally what I saw from like this pictures, I guess. I don't know the, yeah. the historical background of like their entire uh, uh, country, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's just a lot of tension in that area. It's next to Israel and Iran and mm-hmm. all that Middle East. So, I mean, something happened. It is a, wait, it, it is a country, correct? Yeah. Lebanon. Okay. Is a country, yeah. and then Beirut's the capital, actually, and yeah. it happened in the capital. And right. my first thought was like, why would they have all this shit like in that city, like right next to right, like like such a beautiful <laughs> city? But then again, I was like, if you look at the old pictures, it was like a warehouse, like a straight up like docking area, and then everything else is like skyscrapers, nice buildings, and everything. Yeah, so it's like it feels out of place, but. The same, it's like San Francisco, you know, like the piers area with all the, yeah, all yeah. the workers, and then you have this nice little town area. Yeah, it was like, it was a port, and then everything just, you know, destruction. Yeah, complete there's, chaos. Apparently, uh, like there's a wedding going on, and someone had uh, someone was filming like a wedding video, so they had a really nice gimbal camera, like yeah. a steady cam, and they filmed the explosion with such like. <laughs> Like movie type <laughs> yeah. video, and that's and it looks like a movie too, which is scary to think that I know something like that happens. You know, it can happen anytime, anywhere, basically. You know, yeah. The the cell phone video of the yeah. people up close, like I saw them just they're dead. They're hundred percent dead. Yeah, yeah. I, I guarantee it. Because like, there's people in the sorry you, to interrupt. But yeah, it's fine. Like, Go ahead. There's people in like the rooms, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like just filming the dusk, and then. I see someone who's like probably like a couple hundred feet, maybe thousands of feet, but close enough to where the actual radius can kill. So that's fucking scary how the, the live stream, you know, continued. Yeah. yeah. Cause the people recording at first, they didn't, they thought, you know, this is just the fire problem. Mm-hmm. They didn't think of it uh, as much, but you, you see like the, the smoke come up and, light travels uh faster than sound so that smoke came up and the fire came up and they started running and then that that wind came at them and they just like fell down and yeah everything I mean, some of them so, some of them were not running like yeah <laughs> obviously the people with the cameras they definitely not running they were standing there like oh let me just film this what is this <laughs> I know. and then they oh, they sacrificed their lives like literally mm-hmm. they gave up on it like it's fucking crazy well, i mean but how, they, how they, they didn't know how yeah, they post how the video you know? though? How no, they... it's a live stream, so it's oh, like okay. a, it was a live like stream. An immediate VOD that like, goes onto their channel, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And I, I, I wouldn't call, yeah, my miss, miss, like, uh, miss said words or whatever. Like, I, they didn't sacrifice their lives, 
Mm-hmm. It was more like they didn't. They were completely clueless in I that know. situation. Who would expect but, that that like a bomb type explosion? Exactly. And, but yeah. who else in their right mind would stand there and film? That's wrong for society, man. Yeah. You just stand there and take out a camera and like, hey, look, mm-hmm. look, mom, there's a huge explosion that just <laughs> happened. Literally, a couple seconds later, they're dead. And yeah, the worst part is like the the people sleeping. Mm-hmm. People minding their own business. Like, that's, yeah. I, I feel for them, man. That's, it's fucking sad. Mm-hmm. And then the plenty of people went, uh, went like towards the explosion to help the people too. Uh, yeah. Which was also those, very brave. Those are the real MVPs. Like going yeah. in after all that. <laughs> yeah, no. Fuck. Uh, and I, I feel for all those people there, man. I, yeah. They're, they're going through the pandemic you know it's not yeah. you know something like that just happened it wasn't even their fault but man yeah.